Okay, let us learn uh, uh, software under the quality management uh, software standards. So whenever with that we say that uh, standards first comes into the picture to the mind that what is standard? How do we ensure that software is standard one? So let us see some of the points regarding that. <coughs> Sense means the attributes of the products and the process. How it is planned? Okay, the important roles of the quality management, whether it is processed or not, that it should be checked. There are so many standards are there, like international standards are there, national standards are there, organizational and project standards. All these things are very very important thing. Project is going to have its own standards, how to write the programs, okay. then uh, different modules, how the UI design is going to be, that is going to verify with the its own standards. Organization standards is when that particular product is going to be there, how it is going to be get encashed with the um, <coughs> marketing uh, by making that particular product as marketing marketable and uh, the uh, the institution can grow according to that uh, um, product okay. some standards that they will want to make it then the national standards so whether the product is going to be uh, only in the organization that it is going to be there or national way the product is going to get recognizes the standards are going to be met according to the national standards international standards also some of the qualities the product should have so then only they will be going to access that so to make it national international standards the products are to be good enough and somebody should ensure that that your product is going to be good okay so you will be going to do the project whether your project is good or not so who is going to decide that your faculties okay your guides okay your organization okay then after that product is going to be <coughs> the product is going to be demonstrated to the uh, district level then we have national level if it is going to be competitions if you want when they want to keep the competitions at the time if you are going for the those things then the way in which you be going to express your views towards that and your project is going to work according to that some standards they expect national wise so national wide so that that time the data uh, the if you want to pass with that particular thing then international level also you can able to compete for all these things somebody should ensure so that is nothing but a, in our uh, um, <coughs> or we can say hmm, nation we have ISO standards okay that you should ensure that your product is going to be correct you'll be going to see uh, for some other products like uh, for software that will ISO 9001 is there okay that if they are going to ensure that the quality is going to be correct then that will be accepted by the uh, nation and uh, similarly the qualities like uh, products if you're going to take uh, <coughs> like uh, pressure cookers and uh, the, like, like those products okay then you are going to have ISI mark if ISI mark is going to be there that is a good quality product some standard uh, standardization that you will be going to get it if mark is not there ISI mark is not there then it is not the good product that you will be going to judge okay. <coughs> what is basically what is the importance of standards? Why we should go for this standards? So it ensures that uh, there is no mistakes in that. There is no uh, there is no flaws in that particular product. So that it is going to ensure first thing. Another thing is that uh, uh, new things uh, are going to be get acceptable. Okay, uh, by the when you go into some products or project. Okay, so you should get documented properly. If the documentation is going to be there, if the new staff comes and uh, sees that particular product, then they can able to understand that. If it is going to be understood, then the quality is going to be good or the standard that you have been maintained for that is going to be correct. That is why each and every companies are going to have their own standards of writing the programs and all these things. So whenever you will be going to adapt to that nature, 
then it is easy for you to understand. How to write simple way, I am going to tell you. Whenever you write the program, C program only, for example, the addition of two numbers, if you want to write, then you just write main with the brackets, then you're going to have curly bracket, okay, and the next line, then you're going to write int a b, then you're going to say uh, third line uh, input, okay, that is a scanner field you're going to write, okay, and you're going to ask, ask for a and b inputs, so you're going to add okay. third, uh, fourth statement that it is going to be, you're going to have this uh, printf percentage d then you'll want to have this uh, a plus b okay fine finish over whether well, it is standard it is meeting the standards no in my view means to say that what this a and b are that you are not specified we are going to say and you'll be just executing that output you'll be going to get but whether you are following the rules and regulations of that programming so when you'll be going to say the second line third line that is kind of what they have to do when it is going to ask for the inputs okay it is just ready on the screen it is going to wait for the input without any heading okay then at least you must specify in the previous line print out, please enter the values for addition a and b values if you say then the user will come to know that as i have to enter these things otherwise he is simply sitting over there and waiting for the result you should ask something that he is expecting if you type something else instead of numbers if you type characters whether it is going to be acceptable so the problems are going to be more for that so to avoid all these things avoid all these things there is a standards that it should be maintained so that standards that you have to follow that is what the we can call it as a standards one and uh, you should write over there the remark statements properly remark statements should be written for one particular functions Okay. If you are not going to write those things, functions, for the functions that uh, remarks, it is, it is very difficult to understand that particular function. Complex function it is not going to be there. It is very difficult to understand. So you have to make properly on these things. Product standards and uh, process standards are there. That is what I discussed in the previous slide. So product standards are going to be uh, documentation standards. There is SRS will be there. According to the SRS, the data is going to be everything, the product is getting executed. Then, how this product is going to execute? That particular documentation, this help file that you should write properly. Okay. And uh, you should maintain in that also the coding standards that you have to maintain, header standards that you have to maintain. It should be unique, that particular product. Okay. And the process standards are going to be uh, a specification for the particular program or particular module that it should be described properly if you are not able to describe that one properly the process is not going to get completed the uh, user cannot able to understand what exactly that is that process is going to be for okay in this the two products that is a product standards are going to be there process standards are going to be there so here um, in the product standards, we have design review form, requirements, documentation, structure, method, header format, Java, programming style, project plan, format, change request form. Now you see that in this, all are documented, documentation only, this is design review form. A form may be given, okay, in that how to design, that it should be review form it is going to be okay so already the product is going to be there you will be going to review for that product okay so whether it is meeting standards or not the question is will be there according to that you say yes or no recommends document structure is in the word srs only okay. so these things are going to be met in the end or not who is going to ensure that that is going to be ensured by the process standards so here submission of new code for the system building if it is not going to be met so it should be resubmitted for the execution the method header format a proper for heading format should be given whether it is being given or not standards should be there and everywhere 
that you should 